All right, we're starting it up. Progressive World Dom. Nothing fancy. No blizzards. No fog. No portals. No alliances. 90 second turn timer. Yes, let's go, Samboy. Look, I'm not gonna lie. Look, I'm. I want to see a good game here. I'm broadcasting it, but I'm gonna root for the U.S. of A. God damn it, that's what I, that's where I'm from. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do. But let's see a good game first and foremost. All right. All right. So, Carlos Vizla, yellow, Venezuela, first act. Let's see if he goes for a bonus. He's got a four up in Korea, in the northern part in Manchuria. Does he stack there and hope that blue consolidates or moves out? I don't know where black would move to. He might want to keep that those positions in Indochina strong as well. W1 Pro 9 is white. We're seeing his point of view. Doesn't really have... I guess he could go for Afghanistan. Okay, we're going to see a play from Venezuela here where they line up to possibly take Mongolia or maybe Korea as well. Um, it looks like they could be kind of waiting to see how the board progresses from here before they really make a decision. Sam Boy aggressively grabs Japan. Just finished watching the show Shogun on Hulu. It was awesome. It's about Japan in the 1600s. I think it actually is the year 1600. Very good show. I recommend it. So what does Black do here? I wonder if they add to Korea and say like, hey, like you're going to grab Mongolia. Please move your four. Black also. Well, they don't really have lines on anything else. That's kind of their best play. Yeah, I think if I'm Black, I... If I'm um if I'm New Zealand, if I'm Levi, I add to my two and I put pressure on the yellow four. Yeah. Oh, is, is he gonna break? Oh does he break Japan? Oh my god. He did. I kind of like it. Sandboy saying good game. I'm gonna end your game now. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't end Sandboy's game, so I don't think he would. I don't think he would just sue into black there. But um, surprised to see that you don't. You know, it's plus two, so it's kind of like if you lose it, it's not worth throwing your game over. He didn't have to use a bunch of troops to take it or anything. Um, but also, letting him hold it isn't exactly a huge deal either. But um, I'm glad he broke it. It's, if they, they want to play a real prog world dom game here and not have bonuses. We'll see how this board develops. Um, if it, if this happens to anyone else, if people are set. If people are told, "Hey, we're not doing bonuses," and if people figure that out and don't hold them, now White has a real shot at taking Afghanistan here. Doesn't look like he's going to do it. He's one of the ones who said good good play to to Black for breaking the bonus, so he's going to try to play um, a no bonus game. It looks like. He's adding to a couple positions. So he's pretty strong and pretty well spread out. I mean, he's got four up top. He's got three threes across the middle of the board and a six down in the bottom right, along with another three and a two. I think he pulls that three into one of his other positions. Yeah, he's going to pull the three into the Philippines, I think, and have five, six positions really, really well spread out, which is what you need to need to be if you're later in the turn order. You hope for a little bit of a kill guard, too. Yeah, Blue's going to try to retake the plus two. Um, I don't know if you just if you saw, but Blue did take the plus two. And they um, they were broken by Black. Um, I don't think Samboy will overreact and like just throw into Black here. I think he will he'll retake it. Um, whether or not they let him hold it is up to them. I don't think they'll break him again. It's a plus two. It's not, it's not the end of the world.
Cecil Dogan with some smack talk in the chat. I just came in, uh, Leo Nicole. Yeah, Blue had it, and it was taken from them, and uh, they'll take it back. Why not? All right, so Purple was, let's see, he's got two threes, a four, a five, another three, another five. So he's pretty well spread out, too. The, obviously, they get the bigger trades being the last couple in turn order. So they have a good spread across the board. Um, wasn't sure if Yellow was trying to set up for a bonus or not. Um, but with White and Blue not moving out of Mongolia at all and Black consolidating their three into Korea, I don't see Yellow getting a bonus here. I, does Blue not take the bonus back? Hmm. So he consolidates his threes down. Yeah. He consolidates his threes down low. He might take it next turn and say and like kind of have a threat stack against white, maybe. It's not again, it's not the end of the world to not have that plus two. But if he takes it, I don't know that anyone I don't think anyone's gonna hit a three if he does like a split guard for a couple turns, right? Yeah. Black does have pretty solid lines on black, or blue does have pretty solid lines on black. Black's pretty well spread out, though. I think out of everyone, blue is the least spread out. I mean, yellow doesn't have much in the south other than that, too. And, um, what was that, Thailand? Malaysia? I guess Malaysia. Well, I think if they take the bonus, though, they still maintain a line on black, right? Because they move, they take the one in Japan, and they still have lines on the three and the one in Korea. But I guess they want to, I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's got seven positions. Yeah, we'll see how this board develops. Everyone's very spread out right now. Okay, so Wyatt adds to his threes. Now got a few fours. Again, very good spread for White here. Uh, Purple's going to move up into Korea. I like that. Hopefully for a little bit of a... Oh, he's... Okay, he's really like... Okay, we don't want Lou getting this plus two because that would end the game. I don't know. Plus two? I mean, is it worth taking two territories to guard a plus two? To prevent the plus two, I guess, whatever. Makes him feel better. Yeah, Canada has a couple people in the chat, in their chat, including Horse Boy and uh, some guy named Arco. Never heard of him. Looking at the ranks. Tonight's drink of choice is the good old-fashioned rum and coke. It's an aged rum from Barbados called Plantation Rum. It's a very good, aged five years. And I put a little splash of uh, grenadine on the top of my coke, too, because it gives it like a little bit of a cherry coke vibe. Which I like. Two bounties is a solid finish for you guys. You guys have a lot of points already. 
could have used cherry Coke. That's a good point, except I didn't have cherry Coke. I just said regular Coke. <laughs> so but I did have grenadine in my bar. So gives it that little bit of flavor, cherry flavor. Although grenadine is actually pomegranate, for those that don't know. Good old fake cherry flavor and cherry Coke. Mmm, chemicals. <laughs> chemicals and sugar. Now, grenadine is actually pomegranate, but it does taste like cherry, right? All right. Seeing the third turn order here. See how this board's progressing. Um, let's look at yellow first because they are in the first position. And again, we're not going to see any kind of uh, bounties until... The second set of trades, the earliest, I would imagine. Everyone's very spread out. I like, I feel like I, I feel like I like yellow's lines on red. I want to like him better, but he does have to go through a purple five to get to the red in the bottom at this point. That could move. It could become stronger. Yeah, I like yellow's lines on red. If I'm, if I'm yellow, I'm lining up red here. Does he have lines on black? I guess it one, two, three. Four, five, yeah, he kind of has, yeah, he has decent lines on black too. He can, let me see if I can get my cursor up here. So he can kind of bring his, uh, he's got the black here, five on four here, five, four here, five, well, two on four here. I don't have to add here. Could come down through here possibly. Pop, 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 and then pop. So he's got lines on red and black, really. Um, Lines on blue. A little tougher with the stuff that blue has down here, but again, has to go through a purple five to get here. Does he have lines? Does yellow have lines on purple? This would kind of be a double tap here pop, bring it back, pop. Kind of, yeah, well, pop, 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 pop. Yeah, purple is very well spread. I have to go through a couple bigger stacks to get the purple. I think I, th I definitely think red and black are better lines for yellow. Does blue have lines on purple? Pop, pop, boom, boom, pop. That uh, doesn't. Blue's got to really. Blue's going to be depending a lot on this stack over here, and this one to like kind of do a lot of damage. But this is going to have to go pop, 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 pop. Yeah, I don't know if blue has great lines on purple. Perhaps white? Mm. I don't love his lines on black either because he's got to get over here. Again, this has to do a lot of work with this five here. Can he come across? White, not white. How about red? Boom. Bring the five down here and then go that way. Go up through here and just yeah, one, two, three, one, two. Maybe red. Maybe red's the best line for blue. Indonesia's been held in both groups. I didn't get to watch the earlier games. I was working like an adult. I mean, you can't turn down a gifted bonus, Leona. Um, so I, I don't. I, I like yellow's lines on red. Um, I don't love blue's lines on anyone yet. 
Um, in that case, if they don't make a kill, uh, does black have good lines on anyone? Let's take a look at it. This is really doing nothing because he's got to get ye yellow and blue are in the vicinity of this stack up here and they are turn trading in before him most likely. Oh, let's see. Black, black, very, oh, I was going to say, I thought he had very good lines on red, but he's going to have trouble getting to the six stack down below. But I think red is safe from black. Can black kill white? Again, this is the this two stacks down here are very well guarded. I love this stack for white. White, I think white is a goner if they get to like the third trade and no kills have been made yet. But he's very well spread out and guarded uh up until then. So he's gonna hope something happens before then. Someone goes to five cards, maybe. I mean, to be fair, I did leave work an hour early, Cecil, because um I have that kind of car blanche. And it's fucking nice out. It's like 90 degrees outside. I mean, it's fucking hot, but it's nice. Hence why I'm drinking a rum and Coke on a Friday evening after work. It's, it's not money better feeling. I'm just coming up from work at the end of the week and having a good drink. Wife and kids out of the house for another hour or so. It's nice. Anyway, back to the game. So, if, does red have lines on anyone? Does line, uh, they have lines on white? It's going to be tough to even get white too, man. I, I White's very well spread out. Let's see who he is. I mean, the only person after him is purple. So, one, two, he's got... So, white can kill purple here. Kind of has him here. Go, oh, he can come through. Uh, well, he has to go through four or down through for here to get the purple here um pop 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 there have a pop pop getting over here could be tough he'd have to go up through here and break through a six so that man, i don't see a ton of easy lines yet i do like black's lines on red if he if it gets to the point where he can just power through this stuff here down through indonesia So for while well, we have a little lull in the action, although I do want to point out yellow did card skip, which I don't like at all. I hate that. Not on this, not on this. Because you are now last in the trade order, and I gotta be honest, you're setting yourself up for something bad there. I don't know if they meant to do that. I, I assume they did. I didn't see any big calls from them or anything. Like they disconnected. Um, I don't like that play. But I do want to say. If you are a member of the Professional Risk Takers Tour, if you are a full-time member, or if you'd like to become a full-time member, uh, next week starts the Summer Road Trip Open. We will be starting in Las Vegas, and then moving on to the rainforests of Brazil the following week. We're going to take a little tour down there. As if there wasn't enough for your, to, to be afraid of in the rainforests of Brazil. Of the Amazon, you got to now worry about people sitting at their computer trying to kill you. So make sure you sign up for that if you are a PRT member. We're making the schedules this Sunday. Okay, yellow. Going to take their fifth card here. Again, I hate to skip. Not a fan of it. I don't know that I've ever seen a skip that really worked out in an advantageous way.
Yeah, Leona, that's a good point. Um, yellow is in the sight lines of white for sure. Um, a little bit of a double tap with the six probably. Bam, pop, 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 pop. Um, six goes up here. Four root regions across this way. Pop, 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 pop. Um, perhaps this hits here and then goes pop, pop, pop. Does some double dirt. Does double duty with the stack, right? Pop, 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 pop. This pop, pop. This pop. This five doesn't even need to do anything, really. I mean, if you really need to see the avatars, we certainly can bring the screen over a little bit. In fact, we can embiggen it. There we go. It's a little better. Yeah, I do like white lines on yellow now. I, again, I, I I don't get the skit, man. What's with the skit? How is this going to benefit yellow in the long run? Unless he feels like he has great lines on someone and that extra trade is going to really help him out here. But he's, he's last to trade. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, I love white having that position at the bottom. I mean, kind of a straight line from a six down to a four. Um, but I like that that is out of the way. One, two, three, four, five. I guess this is really just a fifth position altogether. Uh, when there was more of a here, it was blocking, kind of creating more of a sixth position. Uh, let's see. So now blue's first uh, trade uh, during the second trade sequence. Again, I didn't love blue's lines on anyone before, but let's take a look at it now. It's got purple here and here. Yeah, purple here. And he runs through a two up to here. So pop, 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 pop. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm not sure how this developed like this, but blue's actually got pretty solid lines on purple. Um, It's got a 22 stack here. I don't know if the second trade even will be enough for blue to kill purple. He might. Unfortunately, be a little short, but we'll see how it plays out. I mean, yellow could set on three, but even if he does, what it, I mean, it doesn't help, it doesn't help him out. He can't make a kill or he'd just be the next one killed. All right, so who else can blue kill? It says purple. Does he have lines on anyone else? On red, perhaps? Got red there, got red there. Yeah. I mean, he could, yeah, he could make a run at red. I would love for him to bring his, he's got his 10 up here. If he was going to line red up, I'd like to see him, oh, let me double click on here. I'd like to see him bring this 10 over here. I'm going to fortify it down. Ruins his lines on purple. So if he's lining up purple, he wouldn't want to do that. Okay. Yeah, I don't think blue's gonna have enough to make a kill, to be honest, really on anyone. Um, unfortunately. So if you go to black, does black have lines on anyone here? Um it does have lines on yellow, I guess, right? Like pop, 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 
Hot, hot, yeah. Black is lined up right up Yellow's ass everywhere. Will we have enough troops to kill him is the question. Because while he is lined up everywhere, it is everywhere. There's five or six different locations that he's at. So I don't know if he'll have enough troops to spread it around and make positive kills. Maybe he has to take a risky, risky roll to get it. But I do love Black's lines on yellow. And as we already pointed out, if it gets to white, he, they also have good lines on yellow. All right, we're, we might see some shit pop off in this next next turn. We're getting to our fourth uh, card in the second trade sequence here. We'll see if anyone sets early. Doesn't look like Red has an early set unless they're debating using it or not and taking their time to trade. We know White doesn't. Purple would probably help Purple out quite a bit. Um, again, I don't know if, pe if people will get big enough trades to kill Purple. Uh, at least not blue anyway. But red also has good lines on purple. Although this five will be tough to get. And we have to go. Yeah, blue's guarding purple up here, actually. So that'd be tough. Blue is blue might be the only person that can kill purple. Um, unless we get to the third set of trades, at which time blue should have enough to kill them anyway. So <clears throat> purple might be screwed here unless they can trade early. Take a load off, baby. So we saw Red. He's playing a survival game at this point. He's, you know, third to trade. He knows um, there's a chance that he gets lined up. He's not too well spread out. So he trades early. White goes to four cards. Purple gets a take in Indochina. Well, I don't know. I feel like red, if red didn't feel like they had great lines on anyone going into the next, going into the next turn, maybe they just felt like they should just play the safer route and survive. Um, I didn't really, like. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it obviously be white or yellow or purple. They would be lining up. I don't think they could get purple because of the guard from blue. Um, could red have killed white? That would be tough for them. Well, no, one, two. Actually, I mean, it's tough to tell now because they have bigger troop stacks. But red could have possibly made a play for white. Again, I don't know if the trades were quite big enough for it. If the bastard was seven to get him there up top. So maybe they just felt like they didn't have lines that were worth it to, to, to wait. And just wanted to survive. Yellow trades on three. Blue. I mean, what does yellow do here other than survive really i mean they can't make a kill without getting killed immediately or at least before their next turn yeah they had to hit through the black seven yeah I, leona that's a good point i i don't think it would have been enough well i don't know that I don't know that it gets to England if yellow doesn't trade. I think black kills yellow if they didn't have a trade, to be honest. I mean, because black had him here, had him here, had him here, had him here, had him here. Yes, that was a good call. The yellow does set on three. They might, maybe they had a wild the whole time and that's why they skipped. 
I still don't like the skip. I still don't like being a card behind. It doesn't make any sense to me. But you never know how these games could play out. Okay, so blue traded. He didn't go for a kill. Doesn't have quite enough troops to make a positive kill here. Uh, black. He's trying. He wants purple. But he can't because of this 10. And I'm surprised blue didn't beef this up a little bit. Maybe they're scared someone tries to roll through it. Um, I'm not going to say stalemate yet. Um, I still... I think that next trade, blue kills purple, if it gets to that. I think that would be the saving grace that keeps us from stalemating for sure. I mean, blue, if, if purple doesn't trade, blue could realistically get some really lucky dice and kind of win these rolls here. It would be tight as hell, though. But look, we're going to go to the next set of trades um, here. Um, that, that, that gives me a lot of faith in blue. Because now the trades are at a point where even though they're first to trade, um, they should be getting enough troops to kind of kill anyone they're lined up on. Whether they feel it's worth it at that point. I mean, we haven't seen any bonus holding, so it should be worth it. Okay, purple does set. Well, it would have been a tough kill because he has enough to take this out. 24, he has a couple, goes 20, 24 v 22. I guess, I mean, round splits probably gets it. Probably needed to add a couple here and then hope to get a good roll on the six. I, it still would have been very tight if purple didn't trade and blue went for it. She's all right. Well, my bed is clean and upset. Oh, yeah, sure. If he gets it, yeah. I mean, I knowing Sam Boy, I don't know. He's a pretty, uh, he's not, I wouldn't say he's a tight player, that's for sure, <laughs> but he's a smart player. I don't know if he'd go for it or not, but I wouldn't be surprised if he did either. Yeah, I mean, red's got very, I mean, sorry, white's got, <clears throat> excuse me, great lines on red um, for the most part here. Especially now if blue sits there. All right, we got a couple turns here until we see any major action, most likely. So we're going to see some players trying to get defended, get some kill guards in front of them.
12, 13, 14, 20, yeah, 20 there. Um, yeah, black brings the 15 down through Korea. Bang, 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 bang. Well, if purple, I was going to say, if purple stayed in East India there, they would have uh, blocked black from getting to red. But now that that's still open, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't mind uh, the lines on red for black. Not, not too bad. I don't know if we'll get to them though. I think blue really. I think they just they destroy purple, right? I mean, who else can blue line up here? I mean, it's like he's right up purple's ass everywhere. So blue just moves closer to purple there. Um, who else can they line up? Can they get anyone else? Is yellow an option? Not really. I feel like purple and uh, red are the two options for blue here. Kind of go either way, right? Because you can hit 13, 14, 15, come down. Well, 10, no, no, because then you have to get the 17 and uh, Cylon. Hmm. Yeah, blue, I mean, blue, we really got to hit purple here. Another trade on three for red. All right, so red's out of the picture of being killed by anyone. Um, I mean, in my gut, I feel like blue trades first to kill purple. Question is, can they follow it up? Yellow? Well, can he kill yellow? Yellow's a tough kill for him. Yellow's a very tough kill for blue. Who's lining up white? Anyone lining up white? I wonder if red. No, red, because, oh, well, you could bring the 34 down through the two ones and get to the 19. But then you'd have to bash, yes, 21, 30, 29, 30, yeah. Red doesn't have enough to kill white. Does black have enough to kill white? I don't think so, because you can't, well, no, because that won't be enough. Yeah, I think white's. White's so well spread out. I don't think anyone kills him. I don't think anyone kills white. I mean, even if blue kills purple, right? Um, which if they do, does, is he going to be able to line up white after that? I don't see how they can because hits purple here. His stack is now locked from going this way. Hits purple here. Doesn't have a stack to go that way. It's got to rely on nothing but trade in to get this 34. Pop, pop. And watch blue doesn't have a trade on four, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, I think white's safe, though. All these trades are ridiculous. Oh, some crazy trading going on here. So yellow on 148. I mean, really, the only one that he could... Uh, yeah, I don't... I mean, I think blue just trades in and sits pat and just waits for his time to strike. It, fortunately, it's going to prolong the game a little. And white, the one person that didn't trade is like the one person blue definitely can't kill. All right, so does blue pivot into lining up anyone else here? Um, I mean, he's obviously like if he pulls his 30 down from the middle of Japan down to the con, I think, Konshu, is that what that? I forget. The, anyway, the southern Japanese territory. He could line up red pretty well. Still has a still would have a tough time getting. Well, no. So if he lined up red, he'd have to put a stack here. Pop, 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 pop. This would pop that. This would pop that. This would pop that. And then this would pop that. Of course, if the trades are big enough, it's going to add enough here to go that way. And then add enough here to go pop, pop, pop. And keep his lines on purple here. And that way he'd still be able to possibly kill purple on the follow-up. Yeah, I don't see red going for white here. You could try it. I don't, there's no way, I mean, how does he? Yeah, there's no way. Everyone's had a few trades here now, and so there's so many kill guards, so many, so many stacks blocking paths. White with the 169. Dab it up. Yes, you know it's stalemating a bit when the players are like, you know what, let me just do some 69 stacks. Forget strategy. Do some 69 stacks. Oh, lost a couple troops. Next troop. Loses the 69 stack. It's going to spell the end for white, I think. Sitting on 68 like that. Yeah, he's done for. White's done for now. <laughs> uh, purple laughing. Knowing that this is stalemating a bit. Um. And again, I, I think it's going to get to the point where blue just kills purple. <laughs> got to, it's just got to wait for him to not have a trade on three and make sure blue has a trade on four. It's going to happen. The question is, did someone die before that? I don't think so. Blue's the first to trade. I wonder if Yellow knew that if the game was going to go this long, if they would have done that card skip earlier. Because they would kind of be in the driver's seat now. And Purple can't decide whether they want a big stack or two, two split stacks here in the middle. They've been going back and forth. Um... Sure, that's a good point. He did have two trades on three.
All right. So it's been 50 minutes since the start of the game, 49 to be exact. Um, again, I don't think the stalemate's to 90 minutes or anything like that, but um. It's just going to go a couple trades longer than we originally anticipated, especially with a no bonus game. Yeah, W1's in a tough position being fourth to trade. Might not get the opportunity to do much. But. All these trades on three, tell me one thing. Somebody is going to get no trade on four, right? I mean, it's inevitable. All those trades on three, someone's going five cards. You said black move, letting red kill white. Yeah, one. Yeah, I mean, it does open it up. It's still one, two. Yeah, pretty good lines. Um, but how does he get one, two? I mean, he, what are the trades at? I don't even know. 60, maybe? I guess maybe concerned about getting his guard blasted by someone. I mean, red obviously has great lines on white. Whether he has a big enough trade to, to kill the 68, because... Well, actually, could add to the 25 to hit the 68. The 25 that is in uh, Taiwan he could come up and go... Well, no, no, they can't go through. the 56 and 80 blocking him. So in order to get the white 35, you have to add to um, uh, the island there between India and Indochina. So it could be a thing where, oh, look at this. Blue moved away from purple. So now that opens up lines on purple. I don't think blue, it doesn't matter. Like as long as blue gets his trays on four, he doesn't really need to guard purple. But I wonder if this is blue lining up um, uh, red. I mean, honestly, I feel like blue has... He still has lines on purple. Unless yellow were to split. Or if black adds enough. There's another goddamn trade on three. Black could... Block purple in pretty well if they wanted to. We'll see who black lines up. And I don't think does black have enough. Black does have enough to kill blue if blue doesn't trade. He's not lined up for it. I mean, well, well, it'd be tight, but you'd have to get really good dice on, especially on the 30 down below. Blue could definitely kill red here. 
for sure. And I think that's what he's lining up to do because he did uh, fortify that 30 down. Now this 34 there, that blocks the red kill from blue. So blue was going to add in the Indonesia, come up, hit the yellow 11 and go across. Um, that makes it, I'm going to say impossible. What's he got here? 21, 22, 23, 38, 39, 40, 41, 25, 25. I don't, 34, 44, 45, 46, 66. What's the trade at? Is it, if it's 60 something, might still be able to break through there. Well, no, you know what? He has the 56. So purple needed to come down and block the northwest portion there of Indochina. Is that Bangladesh? Yeah, so blue can add to his 56, split off enough to take the 21 troops of the, um, in India, in uh, Ceylon, or uh, Sri Lanka nowadays. And then go up and get that 38. Or he could just add enough to the 30 in Japan and take the 25 and move that up. He's got options here. Yeah, yellow just... Like, I'm going to card skip. I'm just going to trade on three every time. Fuck it. So, yellow could make this kill on red a lot more difficult. And in fact, he should. So, that 30 stack would be a lot better if it was sitting... Oh, he could also just block the red 38 with a 69 stack. Oh, yeah, he's got to block this kill on red. Or I think blue... blue. I mean, I don't know if blue wins from here. But, I mean, it's... Does he have a trade? No trade! Holy fucking shit. No trade. Can red kill blue? Let's see. Uh, let's see. He's got him here. He's got him here. Uh, got him here. How does he get here? This. So black cannot hit this unless he guards it or something because he doesn't have it here. Oh, no. He could go. Well. No, because then he has this here. So he could go... No, he can't. All right, so red is... Red kind of screwed him. It's kind of screwed up there. He can't really use this stack for anything. Blue can kill blue. Can white kill blue? Pop, come back, pop, pop, pop. Uh, goes up through the 15 here, comes down this way. Yeah, white kills blue. Absolutely. If red doesn't kill blue, white kills blue. Yeah, I think I think white kills blue. I, I think red fucked themselves. I mean, what's the? I don't know. What's the trade at? He's got to hit 30 and then come back this way and hit another, like, 60 troops. It's a 90 trade. Yeah, I don't know, man. I think red red might still have this. Yeah, I think I think the trades are big enough. Absolutely, yeah. He's got it. Yep, you got to make that like a 35. 36, it's fine. And add the rest to your 25 here. Yeah. Yeah, this is uh well, we still got to get good dice. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It's going to be tight, man. Does he get the roll? He gets it. He gets it. Okay. Okay, so no trade on four for blue. Red gets a big enough trade. He's able to add enough to his stack in Taiwan to make a double kill there um, on blue. And we're going to update the scoreboard here. Blue is killed by red.
So red trades in. Can red kill anyone else? They got to pull that 68 out and um, weaponize it. So we'll see if white and purple both have its trades. Because red is red killable here. Oh, white, no trade with white. I didn't even notice his cards, um, even though we're watching his view. Yeah, I didn't even notice that he didn't have a trade on four. I'm sure he showed his cards at some point. So he goes to five cards. Purple's quickly trying to add some, do some math here and see if they can add kill white. Um, boom, 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 yeah, they're going to go for it either way. All right, they need to leave like a 28 minimum there. 30 for good measure. Okay, 29. It should work. Good dice. All right, you got to hit the 18. Yeah. Unlucky no trades on four for USA and now England as well. Make sure you watch the game, W1 Pro 9. Spectate, spectate, yes. Okay, so white's out. Purple trades in. He's going to be on four cards. So, question here is now. Where does this go from here? Purple and red are both on four. Let's see. Red red has purple really anywhere. He like the 70 of red is almost useless. Can't really do much with it. I guess he can come down and hit the 10 and the 1 in Malaysia and northern Philip uh, Indonesia. Then he has the 36. Uh, let's go this way. He's got, oh, shit. Battle log. We got a battle log. And then this is going to go that way. Clean all that up. He's got to add a here. I think red kills purple, right? Is he going to get enough? This is going to be tough to kill. What's the trade at? 100, right? Yeah, I don't know if he has enough. I mean, he's going to have to. Because there's no way for him to bring this 70 coming around, is there? And even if he does, there's oh, he can't double tap because he would block his stack here. But like, what's the trade at? 105, maybe? 10, 11. No, he's, he's blocking himself here. Red's blocking himself all over this board. Yeah, I think, I think if he wasn't blocking himself here and here, he could either go up around with the 70 stack it still would be tight. It still would be very tight. Um, so red might just sit back and, and see what happens here. Because purple may not have a trade. We'll see what happens. Then black could maybe kill him if he has a trade on three. So if you're red here, you line up black, I think, right? I mean, you have them all across the board here. Definitely add a big stack up here to pop that. Might be tough. Purple could could make this a little bit of a tougher kill in black here. So maybe he lines up yellow. But he's only on two cards. Very interesting. Let's see how this plays out. I think he's got to unlock that 70, man. I think he's got to move that 70 up. Okay, he moves the 30 over instead. 
I would have preferred that 70 up here because he's got lines to come down this way and lines to come down this way. You can still hit the 68 and the 71 here. And this is just a 15 stack you'd have to hit, right? Okay, purple does trade. Leon, are you being prejudiced against Canada? The Commonwealth of the Crown or something like that? Be nice to your younger cousin, Canada. <laughs> Yeah, I think red's best bet here would be to would have been to line up black. But he didn't. I don't think he well, because oh, sorry, he can take it out here. Pop, 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 pop. Brings us across pop, double tap. But how does he get this? Right? 18. Five forty. So that's like a 46, 50 stack that he would need to get that, that come down this way. 50. So he could use this if he gets a good roll with the 108 on this 110 stack. That's really all I could see. Well, so he could come up this way. Pop, 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 pop. Pop. Roll this down. Hit the 70 up. Pop, pop. Pop, 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 pop. And then use this stack to come down this way. 40. 50, 60, you need like a, yeah, I don't know. It might not be enough, man. I think you should have added more up here. If red, if red makes this a 60, absolutely could kill black right now. Because he could have came down here, hit the 15, ran up through Taiwan, up through Korea, and d double tap this stack here with these two. And then he would have had a clean 108 up here and then whatever's left from hitting the 68. Yeah, red, red could have lined up black a little better. It's tough with that, you know, on the spot there to make that kind of decision. I had time to kind of look it over for a while. He's not going to have enough to do now. He, this needs to be like a 60 in order for him to make this kill. Oh, he's going to try for it. Oh, okay. I see what he's doing here. Okay. Bring the 64 up. Pop, pop, pop. You got to move. You got to move. Got to move. Got to move. Don't block your, don't block yourself. Okay. Here we go. Look at this fucking pathing from red, dude. I mean, come on. That is some pathing. So red with the kill on black. Now, I'm going to be, you know, red has Arco in his VC. I'm going to have to ban Arco. It's the most unfair, I think. They lost a lot, but I mean, all right, so they go to four cards. Can purple kill them? He's got a, the thing is, purple has those huge stacks, right? So, yeah, I guess if they go to four, well, no, because, well, let's see, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, maybe purple might kill him here. Yeah. I still I still enjoyed watching that kill though. That was a fun kill to watch. That kind of pathing, it's always fun. In fact, I'm willing to declare red the winner just for watching that kill happen. Cuz that was fun to watch. All right, he's got to be careful here. Oh, he got a great roll. Okay. I was going to say he's got to split off the 169, but Don't block yourself from the kill. Yep. Okay. He's got it. Yeah. Purple should absolutely kill red hair. Oh, it's, is he running? Okay, nope, he's got it. Okay, so we see purple. Get the kill on red. Canada is dead. 
Central Europe. Italic XL representing Austria. Gets the kill. And now they just need to clean up yellow. Now, what would be interesting is if yellow has a trade on three. Again. I don't know if they can clean up the board. Well, they might be able to. It'd be tight. Yeah, I think, wow. If yellow has a trade here, do they have it? The one time they don't have a trade on three is when they really need it. Okay, so they're just going to take as much territory as they can. Now, this is 90-second turn timer. Now, you already blocked yourself from being able to take out these ones over here, which I don't love. Should have went this way. You could have taken pretty much every one on this board with that stack. Now, with 90-second turn timers, I don't think it matters. I think purple will be quick enough. Now, they are on mobile. Purple is on mobile. We do know that. Yeah, keep on hitting more. You gotta hit just as much as you can. Because even if they don't have a trade, they have a 17 and a 56 stack and the six in Japan. They do have a trade, okay. So can they clean it up the board before yellow gets the trade again? Are they quick enough? Let's all watch him path this out and judge him for any mistakes he may make. He's taking his time, not going too fast. Again, 90 second turn timers. Very nervous. You can tell he's going a little slower than he was before. He's probably shaking a bit. He's excited. I don't know about you guys, but I'm aroused too. This is exciting to watch. Yeah, he's got it. He's got it. He's getting the flow. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be the game. Alec XL with the win for the Central European team over Venezuela, USA, Canada, England too, and New Zealand. Very well played by Purple. Very fun game to watch. Yellow, killed by purple, at 15 after, a bit scoreboard here, and we have the winner, uh, Talek. So that's 24 points for Central Europe, and three points each for uh, 